Good evening, everyone, and thanks for checking out Pure Delusion. I'm second. So we're talking about this new car by Pallet. Um, who is Pallet, you may be asking? Because I know that's what I said until I wikied it. It's a Taiwanese-based company founded in 1988, known for exclusive manufacturing of graphics cards based on NVIDIA and ATI chipsets. Uh, they're... Factories are located in China, offices in Germany and Taiwan. Now, the thing that I was shocked about was in 2013, Palette Microsystems surpassed Asus, becoming the biggest graphics card vendor by volume. So what does that mean for us in the U.S.? We've never heard of them. But for everywhere else in the world, they're very familiar with Pallet and their quality. Um, the good thing in which I'm hoping is a new competitor to the Western realm, which means lower prices for us. Yeah, that's right. Us enthusiasts, maybe our pockets can win a little bit because more competition drives down prices. Now, the thing about this card that makes it so unique, it has four fans. That's right, four fans. They're calling it the TurboJet 4 design. It uh, seems like they took some innovation design from... Uh, the Oris GeForce by Gigabyte Extreme design factor in which they have the three fans with the one in the middle uh, stacking structure rotating the opposite way. Um, so they're doing two fans, two rotating to the right, then the two behind it rotating to the left for enhanced heat uh, dissipation. So that that's I guess cool now some may be wondering hey like why are we going through all this with fans like why don't we just throw a little water block on there and you know we just go ahead and cool it that way believe it or not there is still a large portion of us enthusiasts that do not believe in water cooling uh, that's why they're still selling air you know cooling methods everyone's not on water cooling everyone's not a believer because they just don't trust it so I think that's what Palace trying to uh, you know take advantage of right there so their first card looks like they're releasing um, the premium edition, which has the better clock rates. Base clock at 1594 megahertz, boost clock to 1708 uh, megahertz. Uh, this looks like it has an advantage over the reference design by about 7%. It looks like it's about 6 decibels uh, quieter than the Founders Edition, and temperature-wise 12 Celsius lower. Uh, it's going to come with three modes, overclock mode, gaming mode, and silence mode, with RGB lighting effects, and of course some type of RGB sync with the motherboard, dual BIOS, and 12 plus 2 power phases. So uh, I guess that you know if you want to do the manual overclocks, that'll help you along even more. Uh, so basically, what does this all mean? Once again, new competitor. Now, will we see this card here in America? I hope so, because it's going to drive the prices down. But that's all I got for you guys tonight. Like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Uh, you want to talk about this card, if you think it's idiotic. And if you go to the NVIDIA subreddit, there's already a discussion about it now. But I'm just kind of trying to get some news out there for those that kind of get their tech info from YouTube. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, have a good night. See ya.